Hawkmoon has returned within Destiny 2 Beyond Light. It's a relatively simple and straightforward quest that involves killing some enemies, scavenger hunting, and platforming. Timestamps can be found in the description for pretty much every single part of the quest in case you want to skip around and see the best ways to do certain things within this quest. Also, if I sound sick, well, it's probably because I am. Let's get into it. So today, December 8th at Reset, a new quest from the Spider became available for players to pick up, and that's where you're going to want to head to start the Hawkmoon quest. The first step is going to have you find and collect five feathers across the solar system. The feathers are relatively small, but they glow extremely bright, so spotting them from a distance shouldn't be too hard. The first feather can be found right at the entrance doorway of the spider's lair, sitting on a little crate. Feather number two can be found in the sludge on the EDZ. It is on an elevated part of a broken building. Feather number three is in the steeps on the Cosmodrone. As soon as you spawn in, look up to your right and it will be sitting on the busted frame of the building. Feather number four is in the Deviant Mist in the Dreaming City. Head toward the Blind Well, but right before you enter where you would enter for the Last Wish Raid, you know where the door opens, stop and turn to your left. It's sitting on the little frame of the door at the bottom. It's, it's very hard to miss. The final feather, feather number five, can be found in the Shrine of Oryx. Head through the Hall of Wisdom until you enter the shrine, then go all the way to the end of the shrine. The feather will be sitting on the ground right outside of the big object that's in the center of the room. Once you have collected all five feathers, you must speak with the crow. After speaking with him, you must now complete the mission, Cry From Beyond. The mission is extremely straightforward, but will require a little bit of platforming. So bring your platforming boots, I guess. This mission will end with you collecting the effigy of Hawkmoon. Upon collecting the effigy and completing the mission, you must once again go and speak with the crow. There's going to be a lot of speaking with crow, so uh, buckle up. After speaking with the crow, you must now strengthen Hawkmoon by generating or collecting orbs of power. The absolute best way to do this is by going into Crucible Mayhem, sitting in the back of the map and casting your Will of Radiance for Warlock, Bubble for Titan, or your Shadow Shot for Hunter. When I say this is the fastest way to complete this, I'm not lying. It took me a grand total of three minutes and casting around four Wells of Radiance. Upon collecting or generating enough orbs of power, you will then be prompted to return to the Crow once again. After speaking to the Crow, you will then be told to investigate coordinates on the EDZ. Upon interacting with the glowing hawk, a new area will open up and you must find feathers throughout the reservoir. It's extremely straightforward, but just follow where I'm going on screen in case you get lost. Once all feathers have been found, you must return to the crow <sighs> again. From here, he will tell you to defeat champions or guardians. Defeating champions are worth 3% and defeating guardians are worth 0.5%. So yeah, definitely go down the champion route because defeating 200 guardians just doesn't sound fun. 
The best way I found to do this was by going to the Concealed Void Lost Sector on Europa and starting the Legendary version with your fire team. As long as each person hits the champion that you're currently trying to kill, then when it is killed, everyone gets credit. So don't worry about trying to share champions. As long as everyone shoots the champ at least once, then everyone gets credit. It should only take you roughly nine to 10 runs and runs only take roughly two to three minutes. Once you have defeated all champions you need, you will now be prompted to complete the mission, the Crow and the Hawk on the EDZ. This is the final step of the Hawkmoon quest. This mission will look extremely familiar at first, and well, that's because it's the same mission as the first mission for this quest that you did. That is up until you reach about one third ways into the mission. Instead of going straight like you did in the original mission, you will instead platform up a cliff which leads into a new area. Follow where I go on screen if you get lost, but it's pretty simple. Upon reaching the boss room, there will be a massive blight and shielded enemies that can only be defeated by killing the glowing blue enemies, picking up the orbs that they drop and throwing the orbs at the shielded enemies. Now this part of the quest bugged for my team and I as not enough blue enemies spawn to take out all these shielded enemies. If this happens to you, then orbiting and restarting the mission is my best advice as that's what fixed it for my team and I. Once the blight integrity is completely drained and the blight disappears, you will be awarded with Hawkmoon. The mission, however, is not over. Another bigger shielded enemy will spawn and he is health gated so you can't just burn him instantly. His shields work the same way as the previous enemies in this mission. Just kill the blue enemies, pick up their orbs and launch the orbs to break the shield. Once the boss is defeated, the quest will be completed and you are now the owner of Hawkmoon. Well, technically you were the owner like two minutes prior, but yeah, you, you get what I'm trying to say. The mission's done and the quest is done. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. This is my first exotic guide, so let me know what you think about it, if there's anything I should do differently. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then feel free to slap a like on it, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.